Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a gameplay video where I'm going to live commentate some of my gameplay and hopefully give you some top tips to help you play like a top player. So, you can see here, I am in the Elite Division. Um, we are going to be streaming some more Elite Division rivals later tonight to make sure we get that 45 points. Look at the rewards you get for this, by the way. These rewards, man. Two pretty good player picks, two 83 plus team leagues, a mega pack, that's whatever. 50 player pack, 75 player pack, and 75,000 coins. Pretty insane. So I'm an elite division rivals player. Um, did, got rank three on a road to glory, then rank two on um, another account this weekend in champs. We're going to play some champs qualifiers here. This here should be generally not too hard matchmaking, um, and it should show you the gap, hopefully, <laughs> between an elite division player and a more average player. Um, so, I'll live commentate the gameplay. If you do like these videos, let me know in the comments. It, let, feedback on the videos really does help me um, to improve the channel and know what type of content you want. So I'll live commentate as we go through, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, appreciate all the support on the channel recently. So one of the first things I'll do, especially on this game, because people don't change formation generally, they don't use the formation camp, I'll look at the team, so that is a very, very average team. So we know for a start, unless this is... Are you sick to death of getting out-teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today some unbelievable plan who's just made a new account it should be a relatively easy game he's playing 4-3-3 three, three. i almost i'm not sure maybe i don't think i fully concentrated on that because i was so surprised by the team but we're just locking anywhere you have to sweat it don't give the ball away stupidly from kickoff okay his team are very high press so we're looking for space driven pass i use driven passes a lot trigger a run there trigger another run just to generate some space Son, I'm always looking for a finesse with Son. Let's think, even though his team's not very good, it's still quite hard <laughs> when the press is so strong. Just going out wide here to generate some space. Going out wide is a great way to make space on this game. Driven pass in. Pretty poor by me, that. Second man press just to get my team back. Okay. Calm it down. Nothing stupid. Okay, now we try counter attack. Tried to do a speed boost there, but she just didn't do it. Inside the middle, there's a bit of space. One, two. Trying to trigger runs constantly just to generate more space. Driven pass. Okay, I'm going to look for a Traveller there. That was awful. Probably shouldn't have done it. That's just me trying to showcase someone that's pretty strong on this game. Honestly, though, this gameplay... Um, feels fine, but the press is that strong. It makes it so much harder than it needs. See, I'm just trying to... He got a bit lucky there. I'm trying to constantly put pressure on, switch and cover where I think he's going to go. Okay. He's going to go to the middle there. So we just cover that. I'm always in this formation trying to counter. This is genuinely actually really hard because of how good the AI press is, even with these players. Okay, we might be able to get in there. Nope, Son, Son cannot play a through ball, apparently. Okay, now we've got a really... What? I had a 3v2 there, and it's pulled it back. Jeez. Speed boost. Finesse near post, he's moved the keeper. Okay, soon as I see a gap to running behind, I'm going to do it. On this game there, you can take a quick free kick. It kind of disorientated my opponent. I honestly think this guy, considering his team's not actually that bad, but I do think the AI press is a bit busted. Okay, you can see there he's got a running behind. He's probably... Up. He got a red card for that. What? That's why the game... That's poor by me. Okay. I don't know what I was doing giving the ball away there. I was so surprised by the red card. So we're just looking where the space is. There's going to be even more space now with a red card. Trigger a run. He's in. Ooh, I thought the guy at the bottom played him on. I have no idea how he got a red card for that. I mean, it's going to be a long day for the opponent now with the team difference and then a man off. Who got the red card? Kavazic, so it's a midfielder. 
I must have missed it when I edit this video back. I'll have to go back and uh, watch that. I'm clueless to how that was a red card. So generally speaking, when I get a, a man advantage on this game, because the press is so good, I'll press even harder. Try not leave bad gaps, but I'm going to be just constantly looking for where the space is. See there, I'm always switching and trying to go where I think there's a gap. Okay, it looks like he's left a gap here now. He's on. We're going to finesse it now with Son. We moved the keeper, to be fair. But Son, if you have this gold finesse, I don't like finesses on this game in the box. Finesses outside the box are really good. In the box, they're pretty awful. But if you have gold finesse, they're great. So bear that in mind. I never finesse if I don't in the box, really, unless I have a gold finesse. So now we're just going to play where these gaps are. Don't want to be annoying to my opponent, but ultimately playing to win. The opponent should really struggle now with the team difference and man advantage. Just spread it out wide. Going out wide is a really underrated thing that a lot of people don't do on this game. Okay, there's a gap in the middle. I'm going to go rip a finesse. Oh, that's poor. I'm kind of just messing around. Is it giving me another free kick? Bit far out to score, so we're going to take it short. We'll hit a power shot. Why not? I think like power shots from what I'm seeing on this game are really good if you have power shot plus. But I don't have any of those, unfortunately. I need to stay in my corner taker. That's something I literally recommend people do. And I've not been doing it yet. Okay, this is a core technique we do. We go out wide. We go to the back post. Easy goal. Nope. Okay. Rudiger's losing it. I don't even know who beat him in the air there. He's going to try to play that pass there. Oh, that's a great reverse pass, to be fair. Second man press. Just get some help. He's always going to cut in there. Now we just set up our shape. Sometimes do those through balls there. Speed boost. I'm going to hit it across goal. Why not? Get a rebound. Rebounds on this game are OP. There's a very good chance if you hit a shot um, from certain angles. Out wide is a really good one. Or power shots, especially if you have power shot plus. You're probably going to get a rebound. So bear that in mind. If there's not an easy pass to the back post, quite often I'll play for rebound. It's stupid. It shouldn't be in the game, but it is. We'll play another game for the sake of the video. Don't think I actually showed you the team really, but um, there will be a tactic video that's put out a day before this video goes live. So you can look at this tactic in all its glory. I really like it. So, good start. I expect generally in playoffs to go 5-0. I've played two playoffs and won every game in them so far, but you always have to be ready for a sweaty matchup. You never know what's happening on the streets. This person's customised the stadium. Okay, is that Moroccan? Good keeper. Very sweaty defence. Wow, first owner Wayne Rooney. We're going to hope it's not because he went 15-0 to get first owner icon. I don't think Wayne Rooney's particularly amazing on this game, but he's still very good, obviously. Pretty much every icon solid. I'm not switching on from kickoff here, am I? I need to wake up. Okay, switch on. 1 2. See there, 1 2s are just a great. No, come back, son. They're just a great way to generate some space. You can see there's a running behind now. I'm going to just hit ball roll. Ah, he rushed his keeper. People never rush the keeper in that position, so it threw me a bit. That's good defending, Rudiger. Ball roll inside, 1-2. Chip it behind. Might win the header here as well. Oh, no. Okay, where's the gap? Takes a lot of getting used to the press when you first come on. It's first game of the day. You just see, like, look here, there's barely an option. One, two. There we go. Just trying to just generate some space to go there. <laughs> Has that actually worked? Oh, I can't be asked. How has that worked, man? It's just because the ball's bouncing. Okay, we're trying to find where the gaps are. How's Rodri not got the ball there? There we go. Okay, you can't give a free shot to a power shot on the edge of the box. I'm pretty sure Rooney has power shot plus. Okay, I, I'm just going to switch on now a bit. Not that I'm not trying to play properly, but I'm playing poor here. So one, two. 
this is where I just know that you need to just concentrate a bit more, making dumb mistakes. Look inside. Nope. I thought the pass might get intercepted, so I changed direction. Okay, we'll look for the speed boost here. Son. Finesse across. Nice. Honestly, I've played really poor at the start of this game. I realised that. So I've just tried to concentrate, try to play a bit simpler. Keep the ball a bit around his box and then just look for gaps. Looking for gaps is a really good thing. Most Is that some glitch thing I've never seen before that he's trying to do? Um, but honestly, against most people, if you just keep the ball around the box and look and wait, there'll be a player makes a good run. So keeping the ball is one thing that top-level players do. They have high pass accuracy. One of the biggest gaps I see when I'm watching people, um, especially people that I've coached. Okay, we're going to go for the finesse. No, i probably go for too many long shots. But they have really high pass accuracy. Lower level players tend to have really low pass accuracy because they're just giving the ball away so much. I'm going to try the corner technique. Rudiger here is pretty good on headers. Wow, that's unlucky. Okay, we're going to finesse that quick, yeah. Got a bit lucky there, he might quit. No, okay. Let's switch on instantly in the box. As soon as I know that a ball's bouncing in the box, I press L1 to try to switch to the nearest man. And then I start spamming tackle. It's not some advanced technique or anything, but it, it does work. It's giving me a free goal there. Okay, don't try that, Nathan, there. Is he on? Okay, there. Bad by me to give the ball away there. Caught me out of position. But soon, again, another little thing you can do. Soon as I know that I've given the ball away and they're going to have a potential one-on-one, -on -one, I rush the keeper out instantly. It does help having a keeper with rush out. That is actually pretty good. Nice little turn in the midfield there, Frankie. Uh, that's too ambitious. But yeah, if I know that they're going to get one-on-one, -on -one, most people panic and you can just quickly do hold, bring your keeper out and it gets you a lot of um, easy, uh, what you call it, saves. Because they're just not ready for it. Offside. He's got lucky there because it would have been offside anyway. Here we go. Look for where the pressure is. Bit, bit lucky that that Canard has managed to play that. Okay, we know Griezmann's left footed. That's the thing. It's really important to know the players on this game. Obviously, you can't know everyone off by heart. There, again, dumb mistake by me. I'm, I'm not even playing well in these games, but when I'm giving the ball away, I'm instantly covering the dangerous things. Quick football here. Ooh, Kachau has done well there. I forgot she has five star skills. Did not expect that though. Okay, we're going to try to quickly go here. That was a chip for Ubal, so I'm not sure. What is Bond Matty doing? I'm not sure why she's played on the ground when I've chipped it. Okay, there. You can see we just go back. We're going to cross it to the back post. I've aimed at the near post there, so I have no idea why he's missed that. But you can see that as soon as I won the ball back, if I see someone's out of position, I'm always looking to... Uh, I'm getting a bit fed up of him doing this bounce thing. Like, he's clearly doing it because when he wins the ball back a lot, I've never seen anyone do that, so it must be some glitch thing. That's a really good way of turning people, that, by the way. How did he read that? Quick finesse. Nice, easy goal. Again, this is a really good way to play when your defender is right on your attacker. If you can see that you're going to go over the shoulder, it's nearly a guaranteed through ball. If you've got someone good at passing, that is. Rodri, I always try really in this formation control my CDM. It's a bit of a sad thing really, but on this game, on this game, if you have a formation that has a defensive midfielder, you can pretty much just hold your midfielder in defense, not dive in, and you're going to be very hard to break down. Uh, should have gone the other way. Travella, that's a really good way of shooting as well in this game, Travella's. If you watch me stream, you'll see that I score a lot of those L2 Travellers. Rodrigo, green it. Green in it is one thing that I really highly recommend. If you can get time finishing down, it's going to make you a much better player. Um, I think this is one of the best years we've seen for timing shots. It'll be Queen, you just unpause too quick. Um, yeah, timing your shots is going to make a huge difference on this game. Uh, I think we'll stop the video there. Uh, 
15 minutes or so hopefully you've been able to learn something from that um any questions feedback do let me know in the comments as always i appreciate um the feedback on the channel appreciate the support hope you're all having a great day keep it spicy i'll see you guys in the next one peace